Welcome to the second of our free Linux training webinar series in Introduction to Embedded Linux. <clears throat> I'm Jerry Cooperstein of the Linux Foundation. Uh, let's consider what we're going to talk about today. First we're going to talk about what embedded devices are, give examples, talk about them as appliances. Then we'll contrast embedded devices with real-time systems. Many embedded devices are real-time systems, but we want to eliminate any confusion between the two. Then we want to discuss why Linux is a good choice for use in the appliances as well as a development platform for embedded devices. We want to talk about what some of the considerations you have to take into account are, or some of the choices that you have to make when embarking upon embedded Linux development. As an example, we'll look at a commonly used embedded device, the Beagle Board. Um, we'll talk about the necessary ingredients involved in trying to do embedded development. You often have to do cross-development. You work on a host system, and you have to develop for the target system, so you need things like compilers, linkers, applications, libraries, kernels, etc., and you have to work in such a cross-development environment, which can be difficult. And for that purpose, there are many auto-build tools where people have put a lot of work into making sure that you can do it in a more reasonable and uh, less conflicted way. And finally, we'll spend some time talking about file systems that are used in embedded systems. What are the considerations you have to take into account when you have limited resources, especially in terms of file system size. And we'll mention some of the file systems in use. And at the end, we'll talk about where you can go for further training. Now, embedded devices are often considered as appliances. And what we mean in that sense is that users either don't know or don't care in most circumstances what operating system is actually running the device, and they don't care about the actual central processing unit that's used on a device and are unlikely to even know about it. Common examples, of course, include cell phones, which is the uh, platform that Linux, there are more instances of Linux on cell phones than anywhere else, uh, some fancy watches, video disc recorders, and the digital video, video recorders that you have uh, attached to your television in many cases, portable digital assistants, um, PDAs. There are many embedded processor, processor devices in automobiles and in other factory and control situations, aircraft, etc. When we talk about embedded systems, we have to realize you have limited resources and therefore they must be used very efficiently. It's not easy to add additional resources as well. They have to be very reliable. Uh, that means they have to handle system failures, the most common of which might be just a simple power outage. They have to handle them gracefully, come back in a short time and without error. Some uh, embedded systems can handle errors, and for other ones, uh, any true error would be totally catastrophic. When we talk about real-time systems, we're talking about a different degree of freedom. When we talk about real-time, we mean that there's a low bounded latency for getting any particular task done. There's a precise window of time with, in which a task has to be completed, otherwise problems will result. Additionally, we may require that certain tasks be done at precise timing points. That's a little bit different than the question of latency. Um, now, there are two kinds of real-time when we talk about Soft real-time, in some sense, we just mean pretty quick, pretty fast, and failure is not catastrophic. Examples would be multimedia streaming devices when you're watching a movie or listening to some audio. If there's some kind of failure, it could just represent itself as a glitch, lost a couple of frames or a pop in the sound. That's fine. You keep going. Any attempt to try to get around it might actually make things worse and uh, cause a further pileup of glitches. <clears throat> Hard real time is when failure is not an option, when a failure can lead to a breakdown of a critical system. This might be, for instance, in the case... Uh...